here's Brandy with Waldo. I've determined that, I mean, she is a lap dog, but I always thought she'd be good by herself because she gets growly when another dog gets close, but she's all talk and no action. I have another foster, and she growled like she hated him for an hour, and now after that, she just doesn't leave him. She coaxes him on to play, and she pounces all over him. She really enjoys it. Um, she is the alpha dog. If you have a submissive male dog, um, that would be great. Waldo, get down. Come on, Brandy. Come out of there. Come on, little girl. Come on. Yeah, this is what they do. This is what they do. <laughs> Growl playing. And most of that is Brandy. I don't know why. She likes to growl play. And Waldo is playing. He's not getting beaten up by any means. So he's been doing this for the past half an hour out here. So she would be great with another dog that does like to play and does like companionship. She just needs to warm up. So like I said, <laughs> that might be an hour. But she is a lap dog, and she really enjoys her humans. She likes to have the lap. She wants to be the boss. But um, she's just a sweetheart with, uh, with whoever she really enjoys her human. She does bark when people come in. That's her barking time. And then once they're in, she'll settle down. Um... <coughs> She's a little standoffish with men, but we've had her for two weeks now, and she definitely is trusting my husband. If he sits down and talks to her, you know, usually all the dogs will go up to him, and she's going up to him too, so she knows who he is. She's, she just focuses a little bit more on one person. Um, she likes some toys, but she's not... You know, she's a real companion dog. She's not one of those little dogs that is going to be for children to play with all the time. She would rather play with a dog, but relax with humans. So, she definitely, you know, has a little small dog syndrome. Great companion, but not really a big play toy for children. So, if you're interested, please put in an application for Brandy. And um, if, you, if you have somebody in the home that spends more hours in the house, that'd be wonderful for her. She's fabulous in a crate. She doesn't make any noise. But then again, we don't want her spending eight hours in a crate while people are working full time. If somebody was retired or worked part time so she wouldn't have to be in there all the time or had family that would let her out during the day for breaks, that would be wonderful. I say she is housebroken only because she generally will not go in the house as long as you're taking her out and she does not go in her crate. If you do forget about her and she's been in the house for over three hours running around, she'll probably, she probably will go, but she's still learning and she's well on her way and she knows that she's supposed to go outside. Come on, Brandy! Come on, Brandy girl! Oh, here comes everybody. Come on, it's time to go in. Let's go. It's time to go in, everybody. Ready? Let's go in. Oh. Come on, let's go play inside. It's too cold out here. Let's go. Come on! Come on! Let's go. Inside. Inside. 